And welcome back. It's the return of the Zompocto creation series, at least for the month of February. February. So this one comes to us from Shadows82, who asked the question, why is the Zompocto of Princess Zelda? Now, you did specifically ask for the Breath of the Wild Princess Zelda, which is the image I'm pretty sure is the right image. If it's not, just let me know. But um, the thing about it is, while there are some differences between all the Zeldas, their core personality of who, they're, who they are remains the same. Add on the fact that I always had the Triforce of Knowledge, so, or Wisdom, sorry, Wisdom. Uh, so, I, it doesn't really matter which version you use for Zelda, I think, when it comes to a Zompok Toe. This isn't like, say, I'm trying to think of some series that rebooted in... This isn't like, not to be topical at the moment, but this isn't like Velma. Velma Dinkley from the original Scooby-Doo's and throughout most of these Scooby-Doo series, is not the same Velma as from the Velma from the show Velma. Those are two drastically different characters. Um, so, yeah, in, in that sense, um, that in that sense, I could see you actually having to make a difference on Pacto for that character. Here, that's not the case. But what, but ultimately, we could break down to what is Zelda's on Pacto. And actually, I think we can get a decent kind of gauge of what her abilities of her sword would be. She's described as being very intelligent, passionate, kind, and always wanting to help others, even though she fails a bit, uh, may fail. Uh, she also has the Triforce of Knowledge on her, which, or, or I keep saying knowledge, but it's wisdom. I'm pretty sure it's wisdom anyway. Triforce of, uh, one second. Courage, power, Triforce of, let's see here. Wisdom. It is wisdom. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> She, because she has the Triforce of Wisdom, I feel like that's one of those scenarios where that happening is ingrained into your soul uh, because of just how powerful of a uh, force it is. I think that really does alter your soul and personality. So, question is, how does it do it? <coughs> mm, <excuse me. coughs> As you hear me just adjusting and getting the phlegm out of my throat. Um, so, first and foremost, because of her style... She, well, she definitely has warrior abil esque abilities. She is a lot more of a diplomat, a negotiator, someone who seeks peace first, and is very and goes through that by using very you know intellectual ways, if possible. However, uh, that still does not mean she can't fight physically. So what I think this applies to me is a keto type zombok toe, but one that in its shikai form can still be used in melee combat predominantly. Uh, its sealed form would still be a katana. Its release would be Learn and Grow. And its name would be Hansa, uh, sorry, Hansa Shiro, Shiro Funsu, or Reflecting Fountain. Its bankai would be Gyaku, uh, or Gika, Gyaku Chishiki, and either Izumi or Funsu again, which, which basically translates to reverse knowledge fountain. <clears throat> its spirit would be a woman, probably similar, but maybe with like blue hair or something because of the whole fountain water idea, uh, with a gourd that constantly would be overflowing with water. Like she would always have water in the gourd. Its form would be of a dual-sided javelin. Um, and a javelin, just very slim, very, very sleek. And as any javelin would be, it'd be good in both. It could be thrown, and it could be, and it can be used in melee combat if needed. It'd be sharp enough on both ends to be a slicing and piercing weapon, I think. But the ability is what's important. What this Zompakto would be, and I did something kind of similar with uh, Deku. Uh, where did I? Was it? Yeah, okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, with Deku, but in a slightly different uh, different manner. So... Basically, where Deku was able to analyze the technique and develop a countermeasure for it, um, depending on depending on Zuriatsu, um, this is more that it it will learn, it will continue to learn learn from its uh, from battle. Every every not <clears throat> every ability that is um, every ability goes up against every. Uh, move that it uh, makes and every move that, it see, uh, that the user sees is ingrained into the Zompok toe. What this actually means is 
th that you're able, it actually is similar to Zoraki, where not just affects, where Zoraki's vodka actually affected him physically, changed him physically and mentally. <clears throat> this is basically like stored knowledge in your head. <clears throat> so, not only can you re just have instant recall with this Zompak toe, you can, it, it will also allow you to revisit and recall and develop and try to counter uh, as best you can. And if it fails, your countermeasures, uh, if the countermeasure will be adjusted. That's the thing. This will develop countermeasures until and until it finds the perfect countermeasure. That's what wisdom and knowledge ultimately is. It's learning, it's growing, and it is retaining that to pass on to others. And that's what the Zompakdo does. Unlike Deku's, which can, which can just kind of make a countermeasure, and as long as they got the, the person has the Riyatsu, it will um, it will counter with a keto technique of some kind. This is more of, you're going to keep failing, because Zelda has not always succeeded. In fact, she's failed multiple times, but you're going to keep failing. But the idea, idea is that you keep getting up and you keep going until you find the perfect, uh, until you find the right way. And in this, in this case, until you find the countermeasure you need to beat this uh, technique. Uh, and that's, that's how this Shikai would work. It's Bankai basically would be that she holds it parallel to her, uh, to her body. So she holds it um, horizontal, no, sorry, uh, vertically in front of her, yells Bankai, and it basically turns into a very large mirror being held on, being held with, um, with the staff where her hand was gripping. Basically, it's almost like a shield that's being gripped, but it's a giant mirror. And more or less, what it does is it reflects everything, about, it just reflects everything back at the opponent. This is not, it's more of a just complete denial of the attack. Again, I go back to, um, uh, I go back to Deku's, because his Bonka acted a little similar. Two large mirrors, uh, Two large mirror-like objects constantly circling Midoriya at all uh, all times, Every, absorbing and throwing um, absorbing attacks and throwing them back. Basically, is what they did. Here, basically, any attack reflected is just immediately repelled, because the idea is, uh, you know, I gained so much knowledge. At the, I've gained knowledge of the attack that it just will not come near me, and it will just go through. It will just go right back to. It. The opponent is basically just the true perfect defense in many ways, at least in concept. I mean, if you can get behind the user, sure, it's not going to matter that much. The mirror isn't fragile either. If she had to, she could use this as a weapon. It's probably sharp and bladed on the edges, but that's kind of how I see her Zompakta working as a collective of knowledge and then basically just because of her will to protect, just saying, no, uh, no, uh, we're, we've moved past this at this point. No more attacking. And just says no and just re rejects the attacks coming. Now, obviously, there would be weaknesses to this Zompakto. Particularly in its Lance Shikai form, its countermeasures are not guaranteed. While its overall ability is very good, it takes time for that ability to really sink in because you don't know how many times you're going to be defeated before you find the best way to counter your opponent's attack. Uh, it also, while it can be thrown, it's up to the user to go collect it. So there is that. Um, so throwing uh, throwing a, a, your Zompak toe at your opponent and having them just catch it and then just holding on to it, maybe not the best thing. Um, and then obviously it's beyond that. It's really just a melee weapon. Now it can take on the traits of non melee like abilities if the perfect once the perfect countermeasure kind of starts to. Uh, uh, show itself like for instance if she went up against bodygon and his respiro was coming at her uh eventually in theory the zompakto could gain a countermeasure to just negate the respiro or maybe start twirling so fast that it creates a whirlwind that just blows the respiro back but how long it would take for that zompakto to understand uh, to develop that ability is anyone's guess and as i said with the bonkai while it's the re complete repelling of attacks is great it is still all based on Ryatsu, so let's say she goes up against Aizen, well, he's going to kind of cleave through her attack, maybe, or shield, maybe. Uh, or at the very minimum, it's not going to have the same effect on him or like a Yamamoto or Ichibei or Zoraki just because of their sheer mass of Ryatsus. 
Uh, and if someone can just get behind her, well, then that just negates the effect of this Vonkai completely. Uh, so ultimately, yeah, I think it'd be a pretty serviceable Zanpak Toe for her. But I leave that up to you to decide. What do you think about this Zanpak Toe? Let me know. Until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you folks next time.